And welcome back into the Sports Source. This segment of our show is brought to you by Tenova Healthcare. Guys, some of you out there are blessed to have never had any kind of prostate issues at all. Those folks who have had prostate issues know that you are very lucky to not have prostate issues. But here's the thing, whether you've had issues yet or not, one in six of you will have to deal with prostate cancer at some point in your life. Turn to Tenova's Men's Health Center of Excellence for your first consultation when you get that news. That's who I trusted, that's who my father trusted. I'm telling you right now, Tenova.com and Tenova Healthcare can help you get through that fight. All right, back with Mike Strange, Mark Pankratz right here. Tennessee loses on the road at Kentucky. They come home uh, to face LSU. Balkman pops his shoulder out of place uh, against Kentucky, but he's gonna play. Kevin Punter's in a walking boot. Right ankle sprain, day to day, doesn't play. Okay, right then you're thinking they're beat. And of course they blow doors. They annihilate LSU without Kevin Punter, which I don't think anyone in Tennessee would have said, yeah, that'll happen. How do they get it done? I didn't think they, when I saw Kevin Punter in a walking boot before the game, I thought they're not gonna score 60 points today. <laughs> and, and I thought LSU is a really talented team that can really score, so I, I thought there was no way. I thought it, I thought that would get LSU more motivated to play. It would be a little bit easier, but uh, all the, a lot of the credit, most of the credit needs to go to Tennessee, but LSU was just disinterested. For a team that's fighting for their NCAA tournament lives to, to play the defense that they played, um, but with that said, guys like Shambari Phillips showed why he was recruited at this level. Going to be a good player. Kyle Alexander did some things. Schofield. Armani Moore had a good, Armani yeah, Moore really stepped up. is the perfect example of what Coach Barnes has been telling him. Don't focus on your points. Focus on all the other stuff and everything else will come. And he just filled that whole stat sheet up and had a great game. I think you guys are right in that Ben Simmons didn't start the game for academic reasons. Got a little suspension there for a little five minute suspension. I thought he pouted. He didn't, he didn't play like Ben Simmons is capable of playing, and I think that might have rubbed off on the rest of the team in terms of the way you know, they were kind of loafing out there on, on defense and it enabled Tennessee to get something going. I think LSU was probably not a great defensive team to begin with, but Mark's right. They, uh, th they didn't play much defense at all. Tennessee had a lot of success driving the ball in the second half, and, and uh, Robert Hubbs. Robert Hubbs had scored, I think, two points at Missouri, four points at Kentucky. And he, then he comes out and has, uh, you know, the kind of game you, you think he ought to have uh, a lot more often. So Also to credit Tennessee's defensive effort because they got themselves some fast break points yesterday yeah. as well. And they handled LSU's press. LSU yeah. came into the yeah. game thinking, well, Kevin Punter's not going to hear. I got a freshman that's never played point guard before. I'm going to press him. And we did a pretty good job of, uh, of handling that. Uh, I think the big thing, too, was, you know, the consistency side of if we can get guys to play with that consistent effort, um, and, and Ben Simmons, uh, great, great player. It's funny, he's suspended for academic reasons. He's got, what, about another two weeks left, the, and then he's done, and yeah. he's going to go to the NBA. Mm -hmm. um, so that pouting sign, but they have discontent amongst that program. Uh, it, it, Johnny Jones is the latest example of my belief. Don't go out and hire alums. Everybody wants to hire an alum. None of these things work out well. Eventually, you have to cut ties with an alum. I, he's the perfect example. Don't hire your own people. Well, he, I think he's a perfect example of you. You look at a guy, boy, he's going to be a great recruiter. He's connected. Yeah. We're going to get great recruits in here. But then what do you do with him after you get him? Well, I think his career winning percentage was 550 at North Texas when they brought him in. So that was an issue. Uh, Mark, you and I talked uh, Friday or before the game yesterday, I forget. Uh, but we talked about, well, I wonder if apathy is starting to set in a little bit. Second year in a row, you're just right there at 500. Didn't seem like there was a lot of buzz before the Kentucky game. And of course, you get the biggest crowd of the year against LSU. Credit the Vol fans. They continue to show up, whether that team is winning big or just flatlining, they're showing up. It's incredible. I mean, you look around SEC, and, and I'm watching SEC games all day, and, and teams are not even a fifth field at, at Georgia or Vanderbilt. Yeah. And then, you know, yes, I meeting with people on Thursday and Friday, they're like, I, I forgot that the Tennessee game was, well, they were even playing Kentucky. And then to show up the way they did, it's, it's, the great part about Vol Nation. I think a few people came to see Ben Simmons. I think also the fact that it was the first Saturday home game in, in a month, you know, had, had something to do with it. But still, if anybody ever questions that Tennessee's a good basketball school, oh, yeah, all right the, there. All the tools are there. Yeah. You put them all together. All right. Uh, when we come back, the lawsuit is obviously out there. But one of the biggest obstacles to getting the UT Athletic Department healthy in terms of the all-sports race what are the biggest obstacles? We'll discuss those going back on the Sports Source. <laughs> 